Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I am going to cover this translations overview. Language translations. The ServiceNow platform supports multiple languages. By default, the language supported by the platform is American English. Language support is available when at least one language plugin has been activated. Currently, there are 22 language plugins are available in ServiceNow. Those are listed below. For example, Brazilian, Portuguese, Czech, German, Polish, all these languages which are listed below are supported by ServiceNow. Language for the instance section. It means when a user logs in, the language for the instance section is determined by the following logic. First one, if the language selection at the login is enabled, then that language is used. Second one, if not, the language preference selected using the language picker in the header bar is used. Third, if not, the language setting in the users table is used. Fourth, if none of the above are true, the system default language is used. Let's log in with um, all type of users with all the methods mentioned above. For example, I have taken the below user. Naive ITL user, Polish employee, German employee with respect to roles. Let's log in with all this type of users and let's see how language translations work for all, all these users. Let's get started. Let's log in to the instance. I'm logging as an admin user. So language, if uh, I have enabled three languages called German, Japanese, Polish. Okay, so I'm for testing, I will use like German and Polish languages. Language. Whenever you are trying to log in with the language selected from the picker, the instance will show in that language. And this language is set as preferred language to your user's account. Let's see, let, uh, let me log in with English language. And you can see the whole instance is changed to English. And let me open um, service portal. and the service portal is an English language. And if you see from the settings icon, the language is set as English. Now, let me log out. Now, uh, this time I will set language to Polish and then I will try to log in. So when I log in as a Polish language, then my whole instance is converted into Polish, wherever the translations are applied. So now if you see the portal, if you reload the portal, now you can see the portal is translated to Polish. For example, if I want to change the language to from Polish to English or Polish to German or any other languages. So I can select from my preferences and I can select as German. Now the my whole instance is changed to German language. And you can, you can see in the portal also. Reload the portal and see. 
it's changed to german language so in that way in that way whenever the users log in or uh, with the preferred languages then the portal or the whole instance is changed to particular language whichever the users is selected that's about how language translations works please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time